Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Hi. Good evening, Sulma. Good evening, Miss. How Bye. are you? Great. How was Bye. the weekend? ¿Qué tal el fin de semana? How was the weekend? Um, very good. All right. What did you do? ¿Qué hizo? Um, visit a family. Okay. Um, y salí de paseo, no sé cómo decir. You went out. Aparte de la familia. Uh, ¿Cómo? Go out. Go, Go out. out. Uh -huh. Go out. Solo eso. Only that. Okay. All uh, right. Okay. Very good, Sulma. And how about Tony? Thank good you. evening, Tony. Hi, Miss. Good evening. How are you? I'm pretty well. All right. That's great. How was the weekend? It was relaxed. Oh, that's good news. What did you do? I get to play basketball with my friends. Oh, okay. Nice. You spend some time doing sports and and with friends and having time with friends or spending time with friends. That's great. Paso tiempo con sus amigos y practicando deporte. That's nice. Estamos muy gorditos. Hay que bajarle ya. We gotta <laughs> exercise a little. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Susana, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's everything? Um, really quiet. Okay, great. How was the weekend? In Saturday, in the morning, I went to work. Okay. Uh, I was at home with my children. Uh, Sunday in the morning, I was at home. The uh, afternoon, I went shopping. Great. Quiet. Quiet. Okay, that's nice. You had a relaxing weekend. Yes. That's good. Frank, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? I'm good, and you? Uh, very nice. Very well. Thank you. Excellent. How was the weekend? Um, I had a lot, a, a lot of things to do. For example, uh, reading, running, pruning and watering my plants. I love plants. And <laughs> I went in on Sunday. I went to my workplace in, in El Boqueron, painting some murals. And the most important thing that I think that I do, I did in the weekend was uh, enjoy with my family. That's cool. I'm glad to hear that you had a nice weekend. Yeah. Let me see, Thanks. Carlos Jose. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. How are you, Carlos? Uh, so so. So so. What happened? How was the weekend? <laughs> Uh, uh, very heavy. Oh, it was hard. My really? my baby is has is sick. sick. Oh, Enferma. yeah, mm. sick. Oh no, yes. that's pretty bad. Uh, yeah, you have to take care of her. Yes. Okay. Hope she feels better Thanks. soon. Thanks, Miss. Let's see. Jose Manuel, good evening. Good evening, Miss. How are you? Good. Uh, hi, thank you. Great, how was the weekend? 
and 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 Saturday, I visit my family, uh, rest at home, relax. Saturday, I watch football. Uh, but the beginning of the week is always tired. Tired. Oh, so it was a hard day today. Ah, yes. Oh, yeah, that's and pretty you? bad. How are you? I'm well. Just um, yeah, kind of tired. It's Monday, but I know. <laughs> but yeah, I feel <laughs> kind of tired. I've been working a lot, so. But I'm fine. I'm oh. Just, well. Thanks for asking. Okay. Very good. Cecilia, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Fine. That's good. How was the, How was the weekend? A uh, weekend full of my dad's homework. Oh. Uh, celebrating my birthday, uh, my grandmother's birthday. Nice. You had some celebration. Did you eat cake? <laughs> sí. <You did. laughs> nice. All right, that's pretty good. Arnoldo, good evening. <clears throat> Arnoldo Morales, good evening. Dalia Margarita, good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening, everybody. How are you? I'm good, and you? I'm good. Okay, how was the weekend? It was chill, doing things at home, cleaning, and watching the Super Bowl yesterday. Oh, you did? You watched it? Yeah. Do you like sports? Yeah. You do. Okay, that's great. Mm -hmm. You had some time to relax at home and do things that you like. Yeah. All right. Let me say hi to Dalia Ramos. Good evening, Dalia. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How's everything? Mm, a good day. You had a good one? Great. And how was the weekend? In Saturday, um, I'm relaxing. I went out with my boyfriends. Okay. In the afternoon in my house. And I sleep in um, two hours. In the Sunday, uh, in the church in the morning. Okay. In the end. And that was it. All right. That's nice. You had a week full of different activities, but a good one, I, I hope. Yeah. Okay, cool. Ismael, good evening. Ismael. Okay. So we are going to start today's session. Let me get my presentation first of all. And let me welcome everybody to our 11th session, right? So we are starting our third week. And this is our 11th section, 11 sessions, sorry, out of 16. So we're just in the middle. And we are going to start today's class by playing a memory game. Let's test our memories. How come? Well, we all are going to say sentences in the simple present, which is the topic that we have been studying, right? So we are going to be saying things, for example, I go to the supermarket, I read a newspaper, or you could say I call my friends, I watch TV, just whatever um, activity you may mention. And the thing is that we are going to go one by one and each of us is going to say a sentence. Then the other person, the next person, 
is going to repeat what the previous person said. For example, I start, I read a newspaper, I read a newspaper. Then let's suppose that Sulma is the next one. Then Sulma has to say, the teacher reads the newspaper and I go to the, to the supermarket. The teacher reads the newspaper and I go to the supermarket. Then the next one is Susana, let's suppose. Then Susana says, the teacher uh, reads the newspaper. So, um, I mean, Sulma goes to the supermarket and I watch TV, for instance, and so on. So we keep on repeating, right? You keep on saying what the previous people said and you add your own sentence. Is that clear? Vamos a ir diciendo una oración cada uno pero vamos repitiendo lo que van diciendo los anteriores. Por ejemplo, si yo soy la primera y digo, I read a newspaper, luego Zulma es la siguiente. Entonces Zulma va a repetir mi oración, the teacher reads the newspaper, nada más que cambiándola para decir the teacher, right? Para cambiar el sujeto. So Zulma says, the teacher reads the newspaper and I go shopping, and I go shopping. Then Susana continues by saying, the teacher goes, the teacher reads the newspaper, Suma goes shopping, and I watch TV. Así, vamos agregando y vamos repitiendo lo que han dicho anteriormente. So let's okay. try it. Let's try it. Let's see. Let's test our memories. So let me start by saying, I write a poem. Susana, you continue. I write. A poem. A poem? Yes. I play my kids. Play with your kids. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, but remember the teacher, you have... The teacher writes the poem. The teacher writes a poem and I play with my kids. And, Again? Yes. yes. Can you say it one more time, please? Okay. Uh, the teacher wrote a poem. I play in the kids. I play with my kids. Okay, good, Susana. Now, Sulma, continue, please. Um, the teacher wrote the poem. Um, Susana, no escuché muy bien lo que dijo y no le entendí. Play, ¿qué? With my kids. Play with her kids. My kids. Mm -hmm. mm, eh, bueno, voy a empezar de nuevo. Eh, the teacher write the poem. Susana play play with my kids. With her kids. Mm. Your kids. Perdón. With Your her kids. kids. <laughs> we say Susana plays um, with her kids. <laughs> Play, plays with her kids. Plays with her, with her kids. kids. Yes, very good. Now yours, Sulma. Um, I go to the study. Go to the stadium. Okay, Dalia Margarita, continue, please. Um. Um, Susa, Surma Sel, uh, she oh. teaches the kids, huh? Mm, no. Well, Let's start. The, with... the teacher writes uh -huh. a poem. Susana plays with her kids. And Surma, I forgot what Surma said. Goes to the stadium. And Surma goes to the stadium. And yours? And I eat dinner. Okay. Thank you. Now, Jose Manuel, continue, please. Um, the teacher write the poem. Susana played with her kids. Surma go, go to the studio. And Dalia is dinner. And I watch TV at home. Watch TV at home. Okay, 
Dalia Ramos, you're next. Okay, and the teacher, the teacher get an appointment. Great. Susana, appointment. play with, great appointment, sorry. Susana, play with her kids. And Sulma, go to the stadium. Uh, Dalia, uh, dinner, it's dinner. I don't remember. So it was dinner. It's dinner. Uh -huh. uh, it's Jose. dinner and Jose Manuel. What is what? Be at home. And, and I um in 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 me I and I um and I uh go to the swimming. Go swimming. Okay. Go swimming. Okay. Very good, Dale. Frank, you're the next one. Uh, the teacher writes a, writes a poem. Susana plays with her kids. Sulma goes to the stadium. Uh, Dalia eats dinner. Uh, Jose Manuel watches TV at home. Dalia Ramos goes swimming and I drink beer. Okay. Very good, Frank. Now, Tony, continue. Ooh. <laughs> um, the teacher one point. Oh, um, Susan. Uh, mm. Plays. Ah, no me acuerdo. Plays with Plays. her kids. Plays with Plays. her kids. Plays with her kids. Plays. With her kids. Mm -hmm. And Sulma uh, the student. goes to the stadium. Go to the stadium, sorry. Mm -hmm. And Dalia <coughs> dinner. Jose Manuel watch to at home. Um, Dalia goes. Um, Swimming? Go swimming. Go swimming. And, and Frank drinks Frank. beer. Thanks. Drinks beer. Drinks. Yes. And you? Um John. I go to study. So I go to study. study. Okay. Very good. Let me see who's next. Cecilia, continue, please. with her kids. Pulma go to the stadium. Dalia eats dinner. TV in your home. Dalia goes swimming, Frank drinks beer, Antonio goes to a study, and I, uh, I celebrate grandmother's birthday. You celebrate your grandmother's birthday. Okay. Let me see who's next, who's missing. Carlos Jose, go ahead. Go ahead. A teacher writes a poem. Susana plays with her skill. Zulma goes to the stadium. Dalia Margarita eats dinner. Jose Manuel watches TV at home. Dalia Ramos goes swimming. Frank drinks beer. Tony goes to study. Ceci celebrates her grandmother. And I play video games. Okay. Good, you play video games. Rafael, go ahead, please. Give it a try, Rafael. Um, I don't know. So 
Saint Rafael, are you going to participate? Or maybe you just joined, right? Se acaba de unir, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. So don't worry, it's fine. Thanks. Then let's see, Arnoldo, are you going to give it a try? Sorry, um, no sé qué ahorita el tema porque me ha estado fallando el. Um, okay. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry, no se preocupen. Sigamos then. Let me see, Carmelina, how about you? Carmelina. Sorry. Bye, teacher. How are you? I'm good. Are you going to participate in this activity? Were you here to listen to what we were doing? Um, you just joined. Just jo join. Uh, okay. Please explain what it's about. Oh, sure. So we are all saying sentences but we are repeating what the, the previous person said. So we keep on making a chain. Like for example, it goes like the teacher writes a poem, Susana plays with her kids, Suma goes to the stadium, Dalia Margarita eats dinner, Jose watches TV at home, Dalia goes swimming, Frank drinks beer, Tony goes to study, Cecilia celebrates her grandma's birthday, and Carlos plays video games. How about you add another one, Carmelina? Add your sentence. Can you repeat? Just add a okay. sentence. Carlos play video game. Okay, and you? <laughs> Remember. It's fine, and you? Um, uh, on my week, on my weekend. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, on my weekend, I visit my sister. You visit your sister? ¿Me entendí mal, teacher? No, it's fine. Don't worry. Just tell me a sentence. You visit your? Okay. This is my mother. Your mom. Okay. Thanks for... Present advance of my master work. Okay. And I went to the court. Uh, and I went to the market. All right. Is that all, Carmelina? Yes. Okay, thanks for participating, very good. Okay, so let's stop over here and um, let me just tell you, remember to change the verb for the third person, right? We say, I write a poem, but the teacher writes a poem, writes. We also say, Susana plays. Susana plays with her kids. Sulma goes, Sulma goes to the stadium. Then we say, Dalia eats, eats dinner. And Jose Manuel watches, watches TV at home, watches. Dalia goes swimming, goes swimming. Frank drinks, drinks beer. Tony goes to study, goes to study. Cecilia celebrates her grandma's birthday. Carlos plays video games. And Carmelina visits her mother visits her mother. So always remember to change the verbs, please. Okay, let's keep on going. Let me tell you about today's session. So I already mentioned that today is our 11th video conference and our topic is information questions and answers. And our specific objective is participants will be able to ask questions about someone else's duties at the workplace. And the class objective is participants will be able to ask information questions and give out answers. So that is our topic. We are going to start by talking a little bit about the WH question words that we can use in order to make questions as, as its name says, right? So we got the first one, which is the most common one, what, what. 
What? Can you repeat that? What? 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 Okay, and we use that question word when we're asking for information about something. So we just require a specific kind of information or we require extra information, right? For example, whenever we ask, what is your name? What is your name? My name is Rudy. So I'm asking for the name, right? That is the information I'm requiring. And then I get it, right? So I ask what? Then the answer to that what would be the name, Rudy. Then we also have, what do you do? What do you do? That what is asking about the activity, right? What do you do? The occupation, the activity that do you that you do for a living. And then we got the answer, I'm a fireman. I'm a fireman. That fireman is the answer to the what question. Our next example says, what time is it? What time is it? It's five o'clock. What time we got? What time? So in that case, the answer, five. It's five, right? Let me see, I got another one. What are you reading? What are you reading? I'm reading a horror book. I'm reading a horror book. Once again, we are asking about the thing that you are reading. And that the thing is the horror book. So the answer to that, what is a horror book? And another example would be, what is your daughter's favorite music? What is your daughter's favorite music? Her favorite music is salsa. And as you see, we say, what? We're asking about the music. And the answer to that, what would be salsa? Now let's practice reading the questions. Please everybody repeat. What is your name? What is, what is, your, what name? is your name? What do you do? What do you what do? You do? You do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What time is it? What, what time, time is it? What are you reading? What are you reading? What are you reading? What are you reading? Why are you reading? 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 What is your daughter's favorite music? What, what is your daughter's, daughter's favorite, 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 music? favorite music? Okay, so that is related to the question word, what? Then we also have when, when. So that when is used for asking about time, about specific time or occasions, for instance. For example, when we say, when is the concert? When is the concert? It's on Saturday, it's on Saturday. So we have the, the question, when? And that answer would be Saturday, a specific time, a specific day. Then we also have when do you arrive in El Salvador? When do you arrive in El Salvador? I arrive on Tuesday. I arrive on Tuesday. So once again, you are answering by providing a specific day. That would be the answer to the when question. Next example says, when did he leave? When did he leave? He left last week. He left last week. Again, the answer to that when would be last week, last week. Next one, when are we going to finish? When are we going to finish? We're going to finish soon. We're going to finish soon. When? Soon. That would be the answer. And I got another one, I believe. When does the meeting start? It starts at 7.30 a.m. When does the meeting start? It starts at 7.30 a.m. So there you see the answer to that. When is 7.30, a specific time, right? So that would be when we use the, the WH question when. 
Now let's practice pronunciation. Please everybody repeat. When is the concert? When, when is the concert? concert? When is the concert? When do you arrive in El Salvador? When, when do you arrive, do you arrive in El Salvador? When did he live? When did, when did he live? When are we going to finish? When, when are we, when are we going, going, to going to finish? When does the meeting start? When does, when does the, the meeting, does start? The meeting start? start? Okay, let me continue by presenting our next WH question word. Here it is. Here we go. The next one is where, where. And that one is for asking in or at what place or position. So where it refers to places or positions. For example, when I ask, where do they live? Where do they live? They live in San Vicente. Where do they live? They live in San Vicente. The answer to that where would be San Vicente, right? That's the place, the place where they live. Next one, where is the car? Where is the car? The car is in the garage. The car is in the garage. Where is the car? The car is in the garage. The car is in the garage. So the answer to that where would be in the garage, in the garage. Next one. Where do my friends eat on Sundays? Where do my friends eat on Sundays? My friends eat in the Ulala restaurant. My friends eat in the Ulala restaurant. So there, as you see, the answer to that where would be the Ulala restaurant. That is the place, the place where they eat on Sunday. Now the next one says, where are the kids? Where are the kids? They are in the pool. They are in the pool. Once again, we got where, and the answer to that where would be the pool. That's the place where the kids are. And we got one more which says, where is she going? Where is she going? She is going to the mall. She is going to the mall. Where? To the mall. That would be the answer to the mall. That's the place. Now everybody repeat, please. Where do they live? Where do they live? Where do they live? Where do they live? Where, do they live? Where, do they live? Where is the car? Where is, Where is the car? car? Where is the car? Where do my friends eat on Sundays? Where do my friends eat on Sundays? Where are the kids? Where are the kids? Where are the kids? Where, are the kids? Where, are the kids? Where is she going? Where is she going? Where is she going? Okay, so remember, we use where for asking about places or positions. Then we also have the question word who. Do you know what we ask um, about whenever using who? Any ideas? Asking what is who about for? somebody. Asking about somebody, right? So that one is for asking what or which person or people are doing something or are involved in some kind of action or activity. Then some examples may be, who is coming to the party? Who is coming to the party? All my neighbors are coming to the party. All my neighbors are coming to the party. So, once again, we have the question who, and the answer would be my neighbors, my neighbors. Those are the people that I'm referring to or I'm asking about. Next one, <clears throat> sorry. Next one, who are they? Who are they? They are my parents, they are my parents. I'm asking who, who are they? And I say they are my parents. So those are the who that I'm referring to. Then we say, who is that? Who is that? That is Nancy. That is Nancy. 
again that who asks for a person or people in this case nancy next one says who are your best friends who are your best friends my best friends are kate and charles my best friends are kate and charles so again that who is asking for a person or people and in this case, we got Kate and Charles. And the last example says, who do you travel with? Who do you travel with? I travel with my wife. I travel with my wife. Who? My wife. Okay, do we have any questions about the vocabulary or anything? No questions? Okay, let's repeat. Who is, <clears throat> sorry, just let me drink some water. Okay, now let's repeat. Who is coming to the party? <clears throat> Who is coming, Who is to, coming the to the party? Who are they? Who are they? Who are they? Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Who are your best friends? Who are, Who are your, your best, best friends? friends? Who do you travel with? Who do you, Who do you travel, travel with? with? Travel with. All right, very well. Now let's continue with our next WH question word, which is why. Why? Okay, when do we use why? Any ideas? Asking a reason of something. Yes, when we, whenever we're asking for a reason or we are asking for an explanation about something, right? Some examples of questions with why are the following. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Because I'm sad, because I'm sad. Something important to point out here is that whenever we use why, we answer using the word because because why because and then the answer or the reason or explanation to that why would be i'm sad right i'm sad why are you crying because i'm sad why i'm sad next one why do you wake up so early why do you wake up so early because i have many things to do because i have many things to do so again, the answer to that why would be, I have many things to do. And as you see, once again, we, we use the word because in order to answer. And we have, why did you buy popcorn? Why did you buy popcorn? Because it's my favorite, because it's my favorite. Why? It's my favorite. That's the reason I bought it. Why are you here? Why are you here? Because I wanted to see you. Because I wanted to see you. Once again, why? I wanted to see you. That's the reason or the explanation. And as you see, we always use because in the answer. Another example would be why does she study English? Why does she study English? Because she is going to travel to England. Because she is going to travel to England. The answer to that why, she is going to travel to England. That is the explanation. Okay, now let's practice. Repeat, please. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Because I'm sad. Because I'm sad. Okay, repeat please. Because. 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 Why do you wake up so early? Why do you, Why wake, do you up wake up, up so early? early? Because I have many things to do. Because, because I have, many, I have things many, many things to do. Why did you buy popcorn? Why did, Why did you buy popcorn? Because it's my favorite. Because it's my, my favorite. favorite. Why are you here? 
Why, Why are you here? here? Because I wanted to see you. Because, because I wanted to, want to see you. Want to see you. Why does he study English? Because she study English. English. Because she is going to travel to England. Because she's, she's going, going to, to travel, travel to England. England. Pretty well. Now let's continue with the question word which. Which. That one is for asking about choice. Asking about choice. So I have a specific group of options or different um, alternatives, different choices, then I choose which one I want. For example, when I say, which car do you prefer? Which car do you prefer? I prefer the blue car. I prefer the blue car. Jose Manuel, help me to read the second one, please. Which color does your sister want? She wants the gray color. Thank you. Okay, so we say which car? The blue car, right? Which car? The blue car. Color, which color? The great color. So I'm choosing out of a group of options or out of some choices, I'm just getting my choice. Next one, help me to read it, Frank. Which day do you prefer for a meeting? I prefer Tuesday. Thank you. So we say which day? Which day? Tuesday. Next example, Dalia Ramos. Which cell phone is there? Is one of you there? That, that phone. Thank that you. one. That one. Thanks. That one. Okay, so we say which cell phone? Which cell phone? This one. This one. And we got another example. Susana, can you help me to read? Which is your motorcycle? Is it's the one on the corner? Thanks. So we, we say which is your motorcycle? Which is your motorcycle? Which? The one on the corner, that's the answer, the one on the corner. Okay, now repeat please. Which car do you prefer? Which car, which car do, do you prefer? prefer? Which color does your sister want? Which color does your sister want? Which day do you prefer for a meeting? Which day, Which day do you prefer, you prefer for, for a, meeting? a meeting? Which cell phone is better? Which cell phone is better? Phone is better? Which is your motorcycle? Which, Which is, is your, your motorcycle? motorcycle? Very good. And let me just mention over here, which can also be used interchangeably with what in some cases. In algunos casos, el which podría utilizarse al igual que el what. For example, when we say, which color does your sister want? What color does your sister want? You can also say that. What color does your sister want? Or what car do you prefer? What car do you prefer? En esos casos podemos utilizar cualquiera de las dos, what or which. Nada más que cuando nos decidimos por utilizar which, es porque el grupo de opciones es más reducido. En cambio, si yo le pregunto, what car do you prefer? Podría mencionar cualquier carro que se le venga a la mente. Cualquier, cualquier carro. Then, if I ask you, which car do you prefer? Sería porque yo ya le he ofrecido eh, cierto, ciertas opciones. Entonces, de esas opciones, debe escoger. En ese caso, utilizo which. Si la pregunta es en general, utilizo what. So, they are kind of similar, right? Which and what, in some cases. Then we also have whose. Whose is for asking about ownership. Ownership, so it's belonging, right? For example, when I ask who are the kids? Who are the kids? They are tailors. They are tailors. Whose are the kids? Sorry, I misread that. Whose are the kids? The kids 
are tailors or they are tailors. So the answer to that whose is tailors. Then I also have whose turn is it? Whose turn is it? It's my turn. It's my turn. Who's my, my turn. Next one, Sulma, help me to read, please. Once, once water is black, Gaddy's water is black. Thanks. Gabby's, the answer to that who's is Gabby's. We're asking about the owner of the sweater. Next one, can you help me to read, Carlos? Who is the this book? Okay, so we say whose is this book? It's mine, mine. And the next example, Lisette, help me to read it, please. Okay, Carmelina, help me, please. Who was who are the shoes? Who's, excuse me, who are the shoes? They are? They are my sons. Thanks. We say, whose are the shoes? Whose? They are my sons. So the answer to that, whose? Sons, my sons. Okay, now please everybody repeat, whose? Who's? 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 Who's are the keys? Who's are the keys? Whose turn is it? Whose turn is it? Whose sweater is black? Whose sweater is black? Whose is this book? Whose is, is the book? Whose are the shoes? Whose are the shoes? Okay, so that whose means the quien, right? Whose are the keys? The quien son las llaves. They are tailors. Son the tailor. Whose turn is it? The quien es este turno. Es mi turno. Whose sweater is black? El suéter de quien es negro. Right, so that who's the quien. Okay, let me continue with how. This is our last one. So how, how is to describe the manner that something is done when I want to know the way in which something is done. I ask how, for example, when I say, how do you cook lasagna? How do you cook lasagna? You cook the pasta first, and then you add the other ingredients, for instance. How, then you explain, right, the procedure. How can I learn English quickly? How can I learn English quickly? By practicing a lot. How old are you? How old are you? We're asking about age. How old are you? I'm 26 years old. How many apples do you have? How many apples do you have? I have five apples. How often do you exercise? How often do you exercise? I exercise twice a week. I exercise twice a week. Now please everybody repeat. How do you cook lasagna? How do you How cook, do you lasagna? cook lasagna? lasagna? How can I learn English quickly? How can I, can I learn, learn English, English quickly? quickly? How old are you? How old are you? How many apples do you have? How many, How many apples, apples, many apples do, you have? Have? do you have? How often do you exercise? How often do you exercise? Okay, so as you see that how can be by itself, as when I say how do you, how, 
Then I also have, how can I learn? But I have phrases such as how old, how old for asking about age, how many for asking for quantity, and how often for asking about um, the, um, I mean the frequency with which you do something, right? How often frequency, how many quantity, how old age. So now let me tell you a little more about information questions with the verb be. So remember that information questions require, as their name says, more information than a yes or no. Last, last week we studied the yes no questions, right? So in those questions, all that we say is, for example, do you have a car? Yes, I do. No, I don't. So that is the answer, right? You simply say yes or no. Or is it Sunday? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. That will be for the yes, no questions. But for the information questions, we are asked about some specific piece of information. <clears throat> we have to answer by providing that information we are asked about. And the structure that we use for the WH questions is the WH question word, then we add the verb be, and then we need a subject. Sometimes after the subject, we have a complement. And then the question mark. Remember, it's very important to also include the question mark so we know that we are asking. Here I have some other examples. What time is it? What time is it? Arnoldo, help me to read this one, please. Can you help me to read? Me ayuda a leer, Arnoldo? Se lo haya bien cortado. How 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 is your Thank you. Susana, read the next one please. When is your anniversary? Thanks. Tony, help me with the next one. Where is the church? Chair. Thanks. Cecilia? Why are you here? Thanks. Next one, Rafael. Who share the stream? Thank you. And here I have some others. Frank, help me with this one, please. First one. Where, where, where are the students? Thanks, Sulma. Next. Which, which is your computer? Thanks. Let me see. Carmelina, help me with the next one. What is that? Thanks. Dalia Ramos. Dalia Ramos. Where are my friends? Thanks. Dalia Margarita. When is Christmas? Thank you. And let's see. Frank? Why are the boys at the park? And the last one, Solma? What is that purple thing? Thank you. So as you see, we always have the WH word at the beginning of the question, then the verb be in the forms am, is, or are, because we are using the present, and then the subject, the students, your computer, dad, my friends, Christmas, the boys, and that purple thing. All right, so now it's time to practice. So let me tell you, we are going to go to the breakout rooms one more time, and we are solving some exercises that we have in this worksheet. We are going to start with exercise number one, which is unscramble the words to make WH questions. For example, number one, it's, is where restaurant the? What would be the question? Oh. What? So what is the question? We're there. Where is the restaurant? Where? We say, where is the restaurant? Where is yeah. the restaurant? 
Okay. Next one, fill in the blanks with the correct form of the verb be. Here you simply have to write am, is, or are. Are. Where are they are. from? Where are they from? You complete the questions that way. In exercise number three, you have to choose between where, when, what, or who. For example, the first one is Canberra. It's in Australia. What do I say? Where, when, what, or who? Where. When. Where. 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 Where is Canberra? It's Where in Australia. Is. We're talking about place or location. Where is Canberra? It's in Australia. And exercise number four, you have to make questions using the verb be. For example, the first one, you got only where and John. Then you complete it by saying, where is John? Where is John? And that's what you have to do. Do we have any questions about this? No questions? Okay. So let me send you to the breakout rooms now and I'll send you the practice to the WhatsApp group. There you go. You got 20 minutes to work on that. Hi there, did you get the practice? Yes. Okay, good. Fine. Loading. Uh, no, ¿verdad? Todavía no han caído. Uh, es la presentación la que mandó el teacher. Oh, uh -huh. really? Oh my gosh, yeah. I got confused. Okay, let me check. No worries. There we go. It's loading. Now let's see. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Single person. Yeah. Okay. Single person worksheet. Exercise one, underline the correct form in the verb. Vamos con el uno. Aquí I... solo hay que escoger el verbo correcto. Uh -huh. Teacher, solo... aunque okay, este creo que fue el que hicimos la Which sesión one? anterior. Really? Oh my God. Yeah. I'm... 
Oh my goodness, I'm lost. Mm. Yeah, this one is from the last. Yes, that is right. Okay, let me. Cierto. My goodness. <laughs> it seems I'm a little sleepy today. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think that is the right one. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Um, scramble. Yes. Oh, I see. That's the one. Finally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, question exercise one. Unscramble the words to make double H questions. Number one. Where mm. is the restaurant? Where's the restaurant? Number two. When is when is the conference? Teacher, yes, and uh, tiene la respuesta responder. dentro, verdad? Eh. Oh, Monday. Uh -huh. When is the conference on Monday? Yeah, that's right. When is the conference? I don't Okay, yes, yeah, let's keep it as when is the conference? Oh, one day. Number three, what's your favorite activity? Activity. Number four, how is the, how is the weather today? How are the new employees? Six. Why are you at work? Seven. When is when is English? Uh -huh. When is the English class? On Friday. And don't take that on Friday. Yeah. Who are your coworkers? Nine. Why? Why am I tired today? Because it's Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Ten. Who's? Who is his favorite singer? How old is car? Car. How old is car? Twelve. What time is my flight tomorrow? ¿Qué pasó? Hey, hey. Oh, hey. Ya. No, bueno. Ya, ya. Hi, everybody. Otra seguiría. What is la seven? Yeah. Hello, teacher. Here I working with our classmates. Great. When la seven, seven. When is when is English class on Friday? ¿Dónde es la clase de inglés? Class en, English viernes, ¿verdad? on Friday. No, in that case we have to remove on Friday because that ah. is part of the answer actually. I, yeah, uh, I didn't realize about I, it. Sorry. So it would be mm, when is the English class? Uh, no problem. When is English class? Entonces. What is? When, when is English is, class? When is? When is? When is? 
Y es que la teacher se había confundido, había puesto ahí una sola vez la, la, respuesta, la respuesta unida a la pregunta. Entonces solo es when is when is English class? When is English class? Class. Y Lisette sigue. Um, I am. La siguiente es Who are your coworkers? Uh -huh. Who are your coworkers? Coworkers. Coworkers. Uh -huh. Coworkers. Me toca. Sí, Alfonso, la nueve. Ah, esta sí. Vamos a ver. Why I am tired. Uh. Uh -huh. Sí, why, why are I am tired today. Exacto, porque estoy cansado hoy, ¿verdad? Así como te tocó ir a jugar básquetbol ayer, andas cansado eso, hoy. Eso ya no es ni cansado. Eso es andas mol molido. Molido. <ríe> Pues yo, ¿verdad? Wait. Sí. ¿Quién es tu singer favorito? ¿Quién es tu singer favorito? ¿Quién es tu singer Cantante. Ah. Cantante. ¿Quién es tu favorito singer, Lisette? Mi favorito singer es... Chayanne. Ah, <laughs> no, está bien, yeah. está bien. Yo, yo secundo con eso. Son buenas. Ahí tengo un álbum de ellos. De él, ah, de, de Choyón. De Choyón. Ah, muy bien. Oh. ¿Quién sigue? Ah, no, Alfonso, Antonio. No, yo. No, ¿Quién va? Espérense, buen momento. Ah, no, Lisette, sí. Voy yo. No? Sí, Lisette. ¿Cómo quedó la 10? ¿Cómo quedó la 10? Who, who is your favorite singer? But it's his. Who is his favorite singer? Ah, his favorite singer, exactly. Uh, uh, Who is favorite? His no. favorite his singer. His favorite singer. Favorite singer. His favorite singer. Who is his favorite singer? Okay. Number 11. Richard, ¿para cuándo los números? Mm -hmm. What numbers? Oh, we are going to study numbers. I don't know if it's part of our program in this level. Yeah. Uh, okay. So yeah, I must follow the, the program that Insafor gives me. So. Vamos a quejarnos con ella entonces. La siguiente, sí. How is Carl old? ¿Cómo cómo es? How is Carl Carl? How old is? Um, how old is? Who is? How old is Carl? How old is? How old? Uh -huh. Ah, exactly. How old is Carl? Carl. 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 Me dijo. Te <risa> toca, ¿verdad? Alfonso. A mí. Sí. Ándale, vamos a ver. Dice. What is, um, what is my time fly tomorrow? What? What time? What time? What time? What time is my what time? flight tomorrow? Okay. Mm -hmm. What time? What time? Is My flight tomorrow. Okay. What time okay, is thank you. my flight tomorrow? La tercera, la siguiente me toca. How old are you? Well, uh -huh. Where are your car? Why? Where, where are um, your car? Why? Why? M, sorry. Why am I so? Ajá. Que algo raro. How many cats eat, Berta? Eat. ¿Cuántos gatos? Algo así va. How many cats? You're working on exercise number two. Is there? Yes. How many yes. car, cats eat there? How many cats are there? Eat? Are. Remember, ah, we're talking about 
How much is it? Mm -hmm. How much Who are my best friends? Who, no, who is? No, uh -huh. who is my best friend? Where are you? 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 Exercise three. And Choose between where, when, what. Bandera. Okay. Eh, sería. Entre eso. Sería la where primera. Go. Where. ¿Va que sí? Uh -huh. Where. Segunda sería. What. Who. Who are you? Mm, sí, va. ¿Quién es, va? That's correct. Uh -huh. Who are John and Mandy? They are my mm -hmm. friends. Okay. okay. Uh, what? When? When is your birthday? When is the cumpleaños? What? What? What is the time? time? It's a river. Uh, when? When, when is the concert? concert? On Saturday. Uh, where? Where, where is your school, school bag? It is in my room. What? 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 What are, what are London, Washington, DC, and Paris? Their capital cities. La otra sería Who I am. Who, verdad? Who? Sí. Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Am I? You are. La otra sería What are you? What are you? No, no who? Sería, who? Uh -huh. Who are you? Who are you? So, preguntándote quién eres tú. Where? Where? What is your new school? Mm -hmm. When? When? When are your holiday? When are your holiday? They are in October. What? 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 Monday, what? Monday, 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 what? 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 When? It's Christmas Day. It's on. Okay, la tercera. Where are Sandy and Jack? Where is Abba? No. Who? Where? Where? Who are King? Where are Sandy and Jack? Where are Sandy and Jack? At school. Where? 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 Exercise for main question with B. What is yonder? What is that? What are you? What are you? What? What? See oh, what? Uh -huh. La diez también va. En la nueve que que dejaron. What? Where are you? Where? Where? Para mí es who. Where va? What exercise are you working in? Y en exercise. En la tres tenemos. Uh -huh. Exercise three. Sentences tenemos nine. Sentences no. Exercise. Okay. Exercise nine. three. Sentences nine, see. Nine. Okay, so the answer is I'm your new English teacher. So the question must be, who are you? Who are you? I'm your new English who? teacher. Uh -huh. 
¿Quién es usted? Soy su nueva maestra. Es who. Yes, sí. who. Who are you? Y la vieja es. Ahí sí es. Where? where. Mm -hmm. Number uh -huh. 10. Let me check it. Where is your new yes. school? Where is, where yes. is your new school? You're right. Where is your new school? It's on Maple Road. Okay. Um, when? When are your holidays? When are six? Yes. No, those say. But. What, what are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday? What? Mm hmm. What? The Simpsons. Who are the Simpsons? Mm. Who? Mm. Who or what? The cartoon character. Yes, you can say who. Who are the Simpsons? They are cartoon characters. Who? Who? Okay. This Christmas day. When? When is Christmas Day? When? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's correct. We were. Where is Daddy and Chef? When? Where? Where? Where are? Where are Sally and Jeff? Acostarte. Ah, yo también me quiero acostar. Yo mandé a acostar a alguien que dice que ahí está esperándome. Pobrecito. Me faltó un montón. Vaya, vamos, exercise 4. Mi question would be: Mi question would be: Where, where is? Where is June? Number 2. Mm. Acostate, ahí en el sillón. To why they hungry? Why? Why are? Why are they hungry? Mm -hmm. Okay. ¿Cómo sería esa? No entendí. Uh, why, are, why are they hungry? Mm -hmm. ¿Por qué tienen hambre? ¿O por qué están hambrientos? Ay, me quedé, no entendí. En ese hay que adicionar el verbo be, dependiendo de la persona que estemos, que esté en la, en la pregunta. En la primera era, where is John? Ahí le damos el is. Ah, okay. En la segunda, como está hablando de, de ellos, ah. es are. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Why are they are why? They hungry? ¿Cómo why, are, why they are hungry? Why are they hungry? Why are they hungry? Mm -hmm. Where is B? 
Where is where are? Where are where we? Are. Where are we? Uh -huh. Con we usamos are. Ah, sí, sí. Uh -huh. Where are we? La cuatro es who are you? Who are you? Who are you, sí. Cinco. Why is? Why, why is? Is he late? He late. La seis. La seis. What is this? What is this? What is this? Uh, what what is yes. mm -hmm. what is this where, is, where are jimmy but jimmy is where is, he, so we say where, uh, is. Where, is. where is where is jimmy mm -hmm. how old are she is no 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 no, if is she. Where is the station? Where is, where is the station? Yes. Where is where is from Pedro? Where is Pedro from? Pedro from. It would mean de donde es Pedro. Where is Pedro from? Why? No. Why are? Where I? Where are they in the kitchen? Are they in the kitchen? Who are the food? Why am I am a Why am I police? Who is Julie Witt? What is she? Who is Julie? Julie. Who is, who is Julie Witt? ¿Qué significa con quién está Julie? Por eso le agregamos el Witt al final. El Witt. Mm -hmm. You finished. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Do you have any questions? No. No. Okay, good. So we're coming back to the main room. See you in a moment. Teacher, more time, more time. You didn't finish, Tony? No. No, time wasn't enough, but no some groups falta, finished. No hizo falta el ejercicio, el cuatro. Oh, you missed sí. one of the exercises. Okay, and how about the other groups? Did you finish? How about yours, oh. Alia Margarita? Did you finish? Um, uh, almost, we get at uh, three. Oh, really? But yeah. Dalia Ramos, Susana, and Carmelina finished. Oh no, it wasn't Carmelina. Yes. Was... No. Yeah, they they finished everything. Yeah, okay. yes, yes, yes. Very good. Okay, so how about um you tell me if you have any questions, any doubts about the the worksheet, about the exercises? Let me see. So here in exercise one, do we have any questions? Any doubts? No, just, um, I think it was in the second one where we had the answer and we had to, to remove it, right? So it says something like on Monday or something like that. It's part of the answer, it's not a question. And then in exercise two, 
Are we clear about it? Or do we have any questions? No questions. So it's where are they from? What is it? When is your birthday? How are you? Where is your car? Why am I sad? How many cats are there? Teacher, my favor. Okay, fine. So let me repeat from number five. Where is your car? Number six, why am I sad? Seven, how many cats are there? Eight, how much is it? How much is it? Number nine, who is my best friend? And number 10, where are you? And the next one, exercise three, you had to write where, when, what, or who. Number one, which one? What's the word? What? What? No. Where? Where is Canberra? Where? Where? Yes. Because the answer is it's in Australia. So we're talking about a place. We're talking about location. So where? Where is Canberra? Number two? Who are? Who are Jan and Mandy? They are my friends. Number three? When? When? When, when is your birthday? It's on 23rd May. Number four? Where? Who is the town? Um, what do the others what is, say? What? What? Is what? Yes, what? in that case, we use what. What is the thing? It's a river. You're asking for the river, right? What? What is that? What is that thing? What is the thing? It's a river. Number five. When is the concert? When, when, is, when the concert? is the concert? Very good. On Saturday, number six. Where? 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 Where's your school bag? It's in my room. Where? Number seven. What? What? What are London, Washington, D.C., and Paris, their capital city? Number eight. Who? Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? You're my best friend. And the next one, what is it? Number nine? Who? Who are you? Who are you? I'm your new English teacher. Number 10? Where? Where is where is, where is your new school? It's in Maple Road. And number 11? When? 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 when are your holidays? They're in October. Number 12? What? What? What are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday? They're days of the week. 13? Who are the Simpsons? Who are the Simpsons? The Simpsons? They are cartoon characters. And number 14 is? When, when is when Christmas Day? Christmas Day. It's on 25th December. And the last one? Where? Where are Sadie? Yeah. Where are Sadie and Kat? They are at school. Okay, good. So um, let me explain a little bit about how to answer. I know that many of you already managed this information, but let's try to keep on practicing the answers to WH questions. So for example, in number one, I have, what time is it? What time is it? How do I answer? What could be an answer for that? It's nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock. Okay, now how about the next one? How old is your husband? He's 26 years old. Oh, so he is 26 years old. Remember that the question how old is for age, asking about age. Cuando hacemos una pregunta con how old, estamos preguntando acerca de la edad. Like, how old are you? I'm 27 years old. How old is your husband? He's 26 years old. Then we have, when is your anniversary? How do I answer? It's 
on? It's on November 29th. November 29th. Let's see if I spelled it correctly. Good. Okay, next one, where is the chair? Where is the chair? How can we answer? It's on the attic. In that case, we say in, in the attic. Uh, in the attic. All right, perfect. Why are you there? That photo doesn't work. Let me change it. Why are you there? Mm -hmm. Ideas on how because, to answer that one? Because they told me. Because they told me. Okay, fine. Next one. Whose are these drinks? It's mine. They are mine. They are mine. All right, good. So do we all understand how to answer those questions? No sé si todos comprendemos cómo responder estas preguntas o si tenemos alguna duda, alguna consulta. Lo importante es tener en cuenta la question word, ¿verdad? Acá me están preguntando what time, what time. Entonces debo responder con la hora. What time? Nine. How old? How old? La edad. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. When? When? The date, November 29th. Where? In the attic. In the attic. Why? Para el why, recordemos que utilizamos primero la palabra because y luego la razón o la explicación. Why? Why are you there? Because they told me. Whose? Whose? De quién? They are mine. Mías. De quién? Mías. ¿Por qué? Porque me dijeron. Where? ¿Dónde? En el ático. When? En noviembre 29. ¿Cuándo? El 29 de noviembre, right? How old? ¿Cuántos años? 26. What time? ¿A qué hora? ¿Por qué hora es? Right? 9. So, it has to match. Tenemos que responder dando la información que ahí se nos pide dependiendo de la WH word. Then we have some others. Let's try to answer them. Where are the students? What can I say there? Where are the students? In the school. They are in the school. Which is your computer? Which is your computer? What can I say? Which is your computer? ¿Cuál es su computadora? The Dell. The black. Dell one. Okay, it's the Dell one. It's the black one. What is that? What is that? The microphone. A it's a microphone. It's a what? What is that? So it could be whatever thing. It's a pen. It's a cell phone. It's a book. Next one, what are my friends? What are my friends? Where are they? They are in the, the cafeteria. House? They are in the cafeteria. Okay. Next one, when is Christmas? On December. Christmas is in December. Why are the boys at the park? Why? Why are the boys at the park? Because they are happy. Okay, because they are happy or because they are having fun, because they are playing. Next one, what what is that purple thing? What is that purple thing? It's a grape. It's a grape. Okay. Good. So now that we have reviewed how to answer questions, we are going to continue practicing. Let me send you back to the breakout rooms. And now your task is to answer the questions that you just made. Ahora vamos a responder las preguntas que estábamos trabajando. Ya tenemos la pregunta. Tratemos de darles una respuesta. All right, so let me send you back there. There you go. You have 15 minutes to practice.
ganarlas. Okay. Where is the restaurant? Va en el ejercicio 1. Estaba la, era la pregunta where is the restaurant? Mm -hmm. La respuesta sería it is in when is the conference is on Monday what's your it's better see, what is is on Monday uh -huh. what is your favorite activity Uh, my favorite activity. Is. Is it my activity okay. favorite? Mm -hmm. Sí. My activity favorite is soccer. La cuatro. How is the weather today? It is. ¿Cómo queda la cuatro? How is the weather today? Sería, it is warm. Templado. Ni it is también. Ni caliente. Ajá, sería, it is. Cinco, how are the new employees? They are. They are nice. Six. Why are you at work? Because. I have, because I have a lot to do. Sivan. Okay. La siete. When is the English class? It's on Friday. It is on Monday, on Friday. Friday. Na ocho. Who are your co-workers? Quiere decir la ocho. ¿Quiénes son sus compañeros de trabajo? Sí. My co-workers are y puede poner el nombre de su mm. compañero de trabajo mm, más o menos mucho. antes jugaba mucho hoy ya, ya no ya no me queda tiempo de era. <risa> el... así sería ¿eh? muy bien what is your favorite activity play what? video games play video games play video, play video games. games play Ajá. play video games right. Play, uh -huh. video game. Correct. How is the weather today? ¿Cómo está el clima hoy? How is the weather cold. today? It's, mm. ¿qué dijiste? Cold. It's, it's cold. cold. <laughs> sí, ¿verdad? It's, está siendo frío. It, it's, a ver, espérate, que tengo duda. It's, it's, it's no. cold. Mm. Está it. It's cold. No sí, yo creo que sí. ¿Cómo no? ¿Cómo no? Cold. ¿Cómo no? ¿Cómo no? Cold. It's cold. Uh -huh. Con cold? cold. No, C O L D S. C O. But no es. No es. C O L D. Ah, el D. Ajá, el D. Es que exacto. 
Okay. Ahí está. La otra. How are the new employees? Si ahí que la tenés. Distinta. How, how are the, the new? The new employees. Ajá. Uh -huh. How are the new? Dale the vuelta new. a eso. Eso. How are the new employees? Y están preguntando cómo son los nuevos empleados. Pongamos they ¿Quiénes are... son? ¿Quiénes? Uh -huh. oh, ¿Cómo están? Es eh, verdad. No, ¿cómo están? ¿Cómo están? O cómo, ¿Cómo son? son? O, ¿Cómo, o cómo son los nuevos empleados. Pongamos ahí de ahí smart people. Smart. Tipo los smart TV. ¿verdad? Smart. Uh -huh. Smart people. Uh, they are people. Ajá, people. Ajá. Son listos o inteligentes. ¿verdad? La sexta, why are you at work? ¿Por qué estás en el trabajo? ¿Qué responderían? ¿Qué responderían? ¿Por qué estás en el trabajo? O Alfonso en, en, Antonio. En, en español podría ser porque me gusta, pero en inglés. <risa> because I, I like it. I like my work. <risa> ajá, because I like my work. Muy bien, también. Because, ajá, because... Ahí, me eh, B, B cause se escribe. ¿eh? B cause se escribe. I like. I like my word, dijiste, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí. I like my word. Así es, ¿verdad? My, sí. O sea, punto, punto, punto. Hay que ponerles punto a todas. Sí. Ajá. Ups. Si el puntito ese cuenta. Eh, in, insignificante, pero valioso. Sí. That's right. Vamos a ver si estamos, ¿verdad? Ajá, la séptima. When in is English when class. Is English class. Espérate, ¿qué? ¿cómo no tenés? When is... English. No, está mal escrito. ¿Cómo no? Y... Ajá, <risa> sí, sí, sí. English. Exacto. Yes. When is English class. La respuesta ya está en la pregunta. It's on Friday. On Friday. Ah, sí, no, la puse, no la puse completa. Pero es que vaya, yeah. aquí ya, te, ya tenemos dos. Nos pasó igual que en la anterior. Sí, como en la segunda, algo así. ¿verdad? Sí, pues Ajá, sí la segunda. nos pasó igual. Va, entonces it's on Friday. Who are you? Yeah. It's on Friday. It's. Friday, ah. se escribe. Friday. Y yo puse, ah. It's. Vaya. Where is Pedro from? Where is Pedro from? ¿De dónde es Pedro? He is from, from in. He's from Costa Rica. Ay, que me da espalda. Costa Rica. Why are they in the kitchen? Why are they in the kitchen? Sería. ¿Por qué están ellos en la cocina? Because, Because the cooking. They are cooking? They are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are cooking. How are the food? Oh, yes. How, how is the food? How is the food? How is the food? It's a great. It's 
Y la 13. Why am I last? Let's ¿Por qué duraré? ¿Por qué qué? Lats. ¿Qué es las? Es último. Lats. ¿Por qué soy último? Because. Podemos poner porque soy más alta. Sí. Entonces, because I am. ¿Qué? Taller. Taller. Because I am tall. Mm -hmm. In that taller. case, you say taller. Más alta sería taller con ER al final. Taller. 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 Where is she? She is a secretary. No, where is donde? Donde. Ah, donde pero está ella. Yeah. Uh -huh. Where is a camping? Yeah. She, she is. She is a camping. She is a company. La otra es, who is Julie? Who is Julie? ¿Quién está con Julie? Eh, sería... Julie is with, with Dalia. <laughs> okay. Para que no le dé sueño. Ay, sí, estoy durmiendo. Ya. Estoy bien cansado. Esas son todas. Sí, sí. Ay, no aguanto la espalda. Ay, yo el sueño no lo aguanto ya. Me tocó que, que debridar a una úlcera de una paciente. ¿El qué? ¿El qué? Me tocó que debridar a una paciente, le dije. ¿Qué una es eso? Una úlcera. Arrancarle toda la piel muerta que tenía. ¿De dónde? Estuve agachada como una hora. ¿De la pierna? Del pie. Ay, Dios mío. Me duele la espalda. ¿Usted, doctora, en qué es? Medicina general. Ah. Y nos va a dar consulta. <risa> Aquí por videollamada. Como Will Salgado. <risa> no, pero por lo menos. <risa> Bad, no sé. In the flu. Cualquiera, entonces. A la dos sería, where are they from? ¿De dónde vienen? No, where are from they ever? Where are they from? Where are they from? Where are they from? Teacher, hi. I am um, question. Uh, how old are you? What is the meaning? Uh, to ¿Cuántos, ¿Cuántos años, años tienes? tienes? Yes. Oh, okay. Thanks. Okay. Mm. Where are they from? La respuesta sería. They are. 
They are Salvadorian. Salvador. They are San Miguel. They are Salvadorian. Salvador. San Salvadoreño. San Miguel. <laughs> what is it? What is what is it? What is it? What is it? All right, welcome back everybody. Do we have any questions, any doubts about the exercises and how to answer the questions? Any comments? We're good. Okay, so let's continue by working, by working on our students' manuals. So please everybody open your manual on page number 29. You're working on page number 29. And the first thing that we're going to do is to brainstorm about the departments that um, exist in our workplaces. So what are some of the departments that are there in your, in your workplace? Any ideas? Ver, cuéntenme acerca de los departamentos que existen en su empresa o en su lugar de trabajo. So what are some of them? Marketing. Okay, you got marketing. What else? Logistics. Logistics, all right. Operation. Operations, okay. Human resource. Human resource, fine. Mm, construction, I don't know. Construction or building? Construction. Okay. Shopping. Shopping, okay, fine. Quality control. Quality control, fine. Customer support. Customer support or customer service. Clinica. Finance. Clinic. Finance. Finance. Technology. Technology. Contact. Treasury. Okay. Engineering department. Engineering, fine. Okay. <laughs> Vocational no. workshops. Okay, very good. Hello. What is that one? Human resources management. Hello. Human resources management. Good. All right. So here, as you can see in exercise two, we got some different departments. For example, we have production, research and development, purchasing, marketing, human resource management, and accounting and finance. Now, what you have to do is to read the descriptions and match the departments to the descriptions. For example, number one, it's production. What is the, the description for production? Um, Take a look at them and tell me. Develop. Control, control and supervise the production, workforce, and inventory. Very good. That is number one. Control and supervise the production workforce and inventory. So you go right here, number one. Continue by placing the others, please, and then we'll check. Let's take a couple of minutes to complete the others and then we share the answers.
let me know when you're ready to check, please. Okay, so let's solve it together. Let's see, number one, it was control and supervise the production workforce and inventory. Number two, research and development. What do they do? Develop, design, new or improve mm -hmm. existing products. That's correct. Develop, design, new or improve existing products or processes. Number three, purchasing. That is? Buying and acquire raw material production equipment for the use of the organization. That's right. Number four, marketing. For sales and research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Number five, human resource management. Recruit, select, and train employees for That's correct. Recruit, select, and train employees for the right job in the company. And the last one, number six, accounting and finance. Yes. It's keep the financial records of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows, right? Okay, so that's how it goes. Four, five, six, one, two, and three. Okay, and then let me remind you about today's homework. It's going to be homework number 11, right? So please, everybody try to complete it as soon as you can. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Good night. Good night. Bye. Take care. Bye. 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 B